Welcome TMDDTM viewers to another episode of Things My Dad Didn't Teach Me. So today I'm going to walk you through how to create an accent wall for either your bedroom, an office, man cave, a she shed. We'll do this in six simple steps. It's really not very complicated. It's just a matter of figuring out what design you want to lay out, selecting your materials, choosing a paint, and it'll take a very bland wall and spruce up an entire room. So the wall that you're looking at here is actually the wall in my home office. I was trying to figure out exactly what I can do with that space. I just wanted to make the space a little more interesting. I wanted to add some color to it, but I didn't want it to be uh, an overkill. I didn't want to go too bland either, so I wanted something that had some personality and some pop. So I actually decided to do an accent wall here. Uh, one wall, the other walls are still uh, the basic white color. But uh, this one wall makes the entire room seem far more interesting. Now that the wall has been painted, the next step is just to frame that wall the same way you would a picture frame. I decided to use one and a half inch wide PVC trim board. Now you can also use wood trim board as well. I used a pneumatic air gun to tack the strips onto the wall. Notice I cut the end of the strips at a 45 degree angle so that when they butt up against one another, you have a nice clean area, just like a picture frame. So now that we've actually framed the wall, step three is actually divided into three separate sections. Again, you can make the wall look uh, any way you want in terms of your different design options. I just wanted something that looked a little more symmetrical in terms of the overall pattern. Now that we've evenly divided the wall into three sections or uh, vertically, now we need to go horizontally in order to create nine separate box sections. Now I'm going to put boxes inside of boxes. Step number five is simply to put boxes inside of boxes. You see in this lower left corner where I already placed the boxes in here and I've actually started to put the connecting strips in. Make sure you have those boxes centered equally within each section. So the last step here, step six, is to connect the small box corners with the large box corners. What I had to do is actually cut these connecting strips cut them at 45 degree angles in its tip so that it would butt in like an arrowhead right into the connection between the horizontal and vertical strips and carve out the butt in portion with 45 degree notches as well so that it has this nice streamlined connecting looks. I'm one of those people that I like to see the nail holes and the lines. I want people to know that it was a custom job versus a pre-built kit. A little caulk some touch-up paint and the wall is actually complete so this is the finished wall to my home office this is just one of many different architectural designs you can lay out for an accent wall you saw how simple it was to build it but it looks highly complex when you walk into the office a lot of people make comments about how much they love this wall not understanding how simple it was to actually do this I did it in a navy blue uh, for Notre Dame, my alma mater, go Irish. But could you imagine this in a Texas burnt orange or an Alabama crimson? Or if you wanted something a little more subtle and not so bold, you can see it here in this soft taupe bone white combination where the entire room has actually been painted that taupe color. Again, you can change your pattern and color combination any way you please. Notice how on the fireplace that we built here, uh, you can see the back wall and its overall chevron pattern that we have here. So that would be great on the accent wall as well. So again, thanks for tuning in to another episode of TMDDTM. Things my dad didn't teach me. Hopefully you learned something and look forward to seeing you next time. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with other people. Inspire one another. And God bless.